Hello everybody, my name is Bartek Zapad and I'm conducting scholarship trainings in terms of learning people software development. Uh, it's JavaScript, PHP and C Sharp and I got the experience with all these three languages in numerous companies in Poland. Now I'm a developer for uh, over 12 years and um, I figured that I should start teaching people to show how to write the quality software so that the person ending up maintaining your code is not a psychopath who might kill you then. So, uh, let me briefly show you what I've designed within half an hour, uh, which would be uh, right uh, after explaining what kind of projects I want to implement. And then for the final, I'm going to invite you and explain a little more about how to participate in this course and what can be the benefits. So, uh, going on to the technology, or even more uh, rather than technology, going to the abstraction and objectivity and so on, we have to be careful uh, because there can be very small mistakes in the architecture that would, could cause a disaster of having to rewrite the application that is, that is used by 60 developers and 2 million people. So, um, I'm trying to write a bulletproof code and that's what I want to show. Obviously, today I'm going to show a project that is almost empty. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> There's even no test. Uh, and what I want to do is invite you to the train uh, next week. Um, I think next week is is a good idea uh, around I believe uh, uh, Saturday. Uh, uh, until that, I probably will release some more um, movies to encourage you to join our trainings and. Uh, uh, yeah. We uh, want to teach as many people as possible to write software, and we've got ideas on how to do that, to make it to make it have any sense, and so on and so on. Therefore, our approach is different than the rest, but it's very, very, very powerful, and it pays back, and it it promotes you guys to better positions or to programmers at all, and everybody is happy because everybody has earned money. So. Uh, this architecture you see is combined of the following. Uh, I call that Tochi. That's the name of <laughs> my initiative. Students invented it, almost students invented it, because I uh, removed one letter from this uh, word and it turned out to be Tochi. So, Tochi application is something that will be uh, rather on the very end. I sorry, not Tochi applications. I, I thought. Touch application behavior. <laughs> Sorry. So, touch applications will be on front and will be done customly because, like you see, a teacher and a healthcare could have something in common. However, to get the telepathy, you probably want to talk to scientists and so on and so on. And still, I don't think telepathy fits into healthcare or healthcare field using the telepathy, but I'm ready with this code I'll show you, for example, on Saturday, with this code I'm going to be offering, uh, advising you to write, dear good software developers, especially Polish ones, reach to them, so I hope that uh, uh, you might improve something in my way of thinking, because I already worked in a few companies and all of them teach me something, and after uh, when I w went to the next one and thought there's nothing more I can learn, there was still a lot. <laughs> and now I use that approach, not exactly this approach, I use an approach that is close to the original because I think there are some mistakes over there. But, th but that is the thing, we have to talk, guys. That's why I talk, yeah, I took you already some time, yeah, almost five minutes, so let's go on.
applications would have uh, front and custom luggage, lo lo logics for all three uh, directories. Then Tochi Basics is elementary application of Tochi interfaces. How was that? So we are creating an interface DDL uh, for uh, each uh, module for each project it's in the solution or not <laughs> or, or res residing in the other solution but requiring our logic. So what we want to do is to use dependency injection uh, sort of dependency injection I mean concept is the same but this time instead of injecting few classes that may not necessarily work well we may inject one DLL in a, in a project where, where there is 90 uh, projects replace one DLL with the other uh, almost immediately in right time uh, in, in, in run time and then uh, nobody will even notice that something is wrong and the race is done so my uh, multi and tier architecture that is also an MVC and so on so on uh, tells me that we still need to be ready there for some surprises and the interfaces uh, of basics of Tochi is finally design patterns, change responsibility the presentation I didn't uh, yet touch, I need to think what kind of uh, container I want to use uh, inside all my projects that is very flexible and I don't have to uh, do some too much work on uh, on uh, fixing, adjusting project uh, to, to have the business injection but with a new release and so on so on. So that is uh, a dependency injection folder in basic interfaces and like you see, there are only interfaces over there. And uh, I don't know why I put logic over here. I have no idea. I think it's, it's totally wrong. Uh, and we also have touchy extensions, which is something that we can use when we want to first, uh, for example, our object to, to behave certainly. Uh, we uh, have an opportunity to add an extension method and so on so on, you want to have it sort of yeah, in in Ordnung <laughs> uh, in, uh, in, in very uh, neat uh, method, not scatters all over the world and who gets where is it and so on and so on. Okay, so uh, to finish up uh, I will be writing the code myself manually for five hours this Saturday between 9 and uh, 2 9, 9 a.m. 2 p.m. but Polish time which is uh, an hour from London London is having a lower hour at, at, at our hour so if it's 9 in uh, uh, our side it's 8 in their side doesn't matter Anyway, uh, I want to invite you guys to listen to my next uh, five-hour, already prepared, uh, very, um, very good prepared predictions about teacher of foreign languages website, healthcare software who's supporting diagnostics. And how do they find out how telepathic, telepathic communication works? And if we actually require anything at all to enable telepathy, that's going to be our subject soon. For today, have a nice evening if I were <laughs> at your side because it's evening and my location and, and at the point in time I, I record this movie. So feel free to ask. Uh, Touchy Bell website is under modernization, so so it's closed. So it doesn't work, uh, but you can check it in in uh, takemeback.org or similar in the archive of websites. It also doesn't matter. 
Uh, if you want to contact me, there's a phone number, there's an email uh, plugged to to my profile in the internet, I believe. And then, uh, as for the movies, today's movie is totally free. The movie from uh, Saturday will have to be paid. You can participate, but if you want a movie from Dark Drogo that's recorded, uh, if you want that kind of movie, you will have to pay for the train. And then, every next train, you will be individually paid, and you can access whatever you want. Uh, I mean, you can download all the movies and practice them, commit and check for uh, for uh, what do I want to say, uh, ask for mistakes and so on and so on. And then once uh, mistakes are are cleared out, then you can uh, simply uh, go on with, with the. Okay, so uh, join uh, join us on Facebook to know more. And then on the next, the closest Saturday actually, now on, uh, then on this Saturday we'll show how, I will show how I want to teach you to write perfect software. And then uh, the following lessons of five hours will cost like 150 Polish gross for five hours of, of uh, learning and uh, movies available after the uh, pre-election and Dropbox with my code and code of all the guys that uh, that participated uh, in the course. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Hope to hear from you soon. And uh, thank you again.